The big story for Pocahontas was Reese Coates, their starting quarterback, not playing. They actually had to go to their third-string quarterback because the second stringer was injured earlier in the season. So really some adversity for Pocahontas tonight. Let's check out the highlights. And there is the third-string quarterback, Haston Orweiler, starting at QB. He had an up-and-down day. But Eric Wolf had a great first half. He fooled me for a second. Even here as the touchdown makes it 7-0 Redskins. Pocahontas fans, well, they're going crazy as usual. That's what Pocahontas fans do. But Star City will respond, fourth and goal from the one, and Jalen Mallett ties the game at seven. But Eric Wolf says, anything you can do, I can do also, as he pounds it in for a 14-7 halftime lead. Star City gets two touchdowns in the third to go up 21-14. But in the fourth quarter, Josiah Marlowe's touchdown ties the game at 21. Orweiler then throws a pick and that sets up James Carter right into your living room. 27-21 lead for Star City, but they missed the PAT, so Pocahontas gets it back and it's Marlowe around the outside for the touchdown to tie the game at 27. So Hunter Logan's on for the extra point and he makes it for a 28-27 lead as Pocahontas is going absolutely crazy. Same score, about a minute left in the game. Star City with the ball, Ty Brown connects to a wide open Blake win, and he's headed to the house for the game winning touchdown. Pocahontas loses the heartbreaker, 33 28. Uh, my hat's off to Star City, so I, I thought they did an excellent job. I uh, thought our kids played extremely hard, it's super, super uh, proud of them, proud of their effort. Uh, just uh, gave it away there at the end. You know what? It was a very tough loss, but Pocahontas has had such a good season. You got to wonder if Reese Coates not being there hurt them. You know, it probably did, but these kids fought hard. They fought really well. They played really well. Just those third quarter touchdowns, one of them was a return, really cost them. They had the lead at the end. They couldn't quite hang on, but you know what? One of their players did come up big time tonight. We're going to talk about the player of the game in the next block. For now, reporting live in Pocahontas, Kamenenchev, Region 8 Sports.